Who's your preppy nurse? That's me, Sally. And today I am going to make some apple cider cinnamon jelly. Um, I have got the, I already measured out most of the ingredients I did because I'm going to double the recipe. I'm going to be using Palmara uh, pectin, which is a low sugar. So you use anywhere from one fourth cup of sugar to one half cup of sugar per one cup of juice and I am going to use eight cups of juice for this recipe. So I did double the spices on it. The ground nutmeg, it came out to one teaspoon. The um, ground cloves came out, it's supposed to be one teaspoon, but I'm not that big of a clove fan, so I used a little less than that. It was one teaspoon of the ginger and then two teaspoons of the ground cinnamon. Um, the zest, and it is orange zest, it is not orange peel that it, it calls for. So I just wanted to kind of show you, it said when I looked it up online, how many tablespoons equals one orange of a zest because this calls for one orange and it said two to three tablespoons. So I got about two and a half tablespoons out of two of these oranges. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Really love this zester. It's got the little rubber tip on the bottom of it. And the zest is not the same as orange peel. Orange peel has got the white rind on it and it can leave a bitter taste sometimes whenever you cook with it. So be sure and do the zest. This does actually go pretty fast. And I am making just a little bit of a mess, but I probably could have used a bigger dish or a plate to do this on. So I'm just going to get... And this is a washed. I did wash these oranges ahead of time. As opposed to wash, which I'm from Indiana and we say wash, not wash. <laughs> tablespoon. So let's get it here. On there. Let me set that right over there. And let's see. If this is one, it's going to be about three and a half. I would like to get, I'll do a little bit more because I'd like to get four tablespoons out of it this back over here. You just have to be careful that you don't get your fingers too close to the, the grater on this. Hmm, I might have to do one more orange. I probably will since I wanted that much to go into it. Yeah, and I think I'm going to make orange salad for dinner tonight since I'm going to have so many of these. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I will finish grating this up and then I will bring you back with me, okay? Okay, I thought the record button was on. It wasn't. So what I did was on the calcium water that I made up, the pectin is this Palmyra Universal Pectin. It comes with the dry powder pectin in it. I got the one pound off of Amazon. And then this is the calcium. And what you do is you mix one half teaspoon of the calcium into one half cup of water. Let me double check that here. I'm positive it's one half cup. I've only used this once or twice before, but it worked out great. Yes, yeah, one half teaspoon to one half cup water. You put the lid on it shake it up. I just used one of those four ounce jars of uh, jelly jars to keep it in. What you don't use up, you can store in the refrigerator and use it the next time, which is what I did. It calls for, uh, on the calcium liquid, it is one teaspoon per one cup of water. So I had eight cups in here, so I put eight teaspoons in it and I had just enough to do it. The pectin powder, you actually mix in with the sugar. So, and I have already done that. You mix it up really well. Once the jelly, the jelly, once the juice gets up to a boil, 
that's whenever we put this in and then we bring it up to a boil that we cannot stir down we let it stir like that for one minute and then we will put it into the jars so i will bring you back whenever that happens okay so my jars are hot my um juice just started boiling let me grab my scoop here so i can stir it with it and we're going to add this into it now Right over there. Sorry about my shoulder in the picture there. And we're gonna stir it. Actually, you know, I could stir it with my spoon here. We're gonna get it back to a boil where I cannot stir it down. And um, I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, I meant to, but we are going to be using the Denali lids. I have had really good luck with them. Uh, the ball, I have probably had maybe about four or five fails this summer, which I never used to have that with the ball. Um, and actually one whole dozen jars that I bought, the uh, lids were, it was bent under on, on all of them. So those, you couldn't use those. Let's turn back up to a higher. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit on the jars here. And you know, I'm gonna go grab my skimmer because it does have just a little bit of foam forming on it. It's bubbling back up. Okay, so we're gonna time it for one minute. I can't stir it down. This just smells so good. I wish that you guys could smell this. It just smells like, I don't know, fall and Christmas. And I've never made apple cider uh, jelly before, so this is a first. I remember buying a jar of it a long time ago, and it was expensive back then. And I could only find it in this one little gourmet shop. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen it at any of the farmer's markets that I've been at. I'll go just a little bit longer here. And then I am going to scoot. I've got my lids in here. We don't recommend using um, simmering the lids anymore for it. Let me just put that right there. Yeah, and I'm going to hook my scoop over here for a minute. The foam. I should be able to do something with that foam. That was too good to get rid of. And actually, if you get the foam, it's not going to hurt anything with your jelly, but it just won't look the best. And that actually looks pretty good for the skimming. Let me just set that over there. Let me get my spoon out. Use utensils you want to 
you know, maybe I'll leave this on for just a little bit longer. It's not really passing the test here. I'll put it back on. I'm going to boil it just a little bit longer. This looks so good, you guys. And I think this would be really good over on pancakes, too. Oh, you know what? A peanut butter sandwich with this on it would be really good. I haven't had peanut butter in any type of jelly for a long time. I'm going to turn on this light. I hope it doesn't interfere too much. You know, I don't have this one on either. See if that helps out some with the lights. Even if this doesn't gel, if something happens to it, this would be a great syrup too. This would be really good over vanilla ice cream or even chocolate ice cream. Mm. And with the Palmera pectin, you do have to have some sugar in it, but it doesn't take a whole lot to activate it for it to get it to gel. So here goes, let me get the lid off here, and get the jar out. I put my jars in the canner to heat up, um, I know it's just the way that I was taught to do. And I know some people put it in the oven and that's perfectly alright too. Let's put these two lots. Okay, my funnel. Sorry, again, shoulder in the picture. Bring this over here. I'm going to get that out. Bring this over closer so I don't dribble any. And it goes to a half an inch space. Which is just barely over. Oops, there I am. I'm being sloppy. Uh -oh. I'm just going to measure here real quick. That is a half inch right there. And I could do just a tad more into it. And this is actually part of Canuary. I'm not officially taking part in it, but I am going to do my canning right along with everybody else. So if you guys are canning anything, you want to videotape it, put it on your channel, you can hashtag me or do an at for who's your prepping nurse and I will take a look at it and I will try and start a playlist with everybody on it. is just to get any air bubbles out. And I'm going to set it right there for the moment. Knock that back out of the way. And grab my towel here. Two, this is my vinegar. You always want to go around the rim. That helps to ensure a good seal. And I'm going to do this. 
put it on there. And like I said, I'm using the Denali Canning Lids. I've had good luck with those this year. Much better than with the ball. And you want to do it finger tight. You don't want to do it real tight. This is a really hot jar too. Let me set it back in. Another ring on it here. You don't want it too tight because you want any air bubbles that are in it to be able to escape. It's kind of funny. Um, I keep my um, jar lifter hanging by where the keys and everything are around the corner here. The dog leashes and everything is over there. And David came home the one day and he's like, okay, why is there a jar lifter over there? Because <laughs> I use it so often. It's just so handy there. Otherwise, it gets put into the, the canners whenever I put them away. I'm just going to just put a little bit off of that. This is really hot. The jars are really hot, I should say. Oh, the jelly. Oops, I am just making such a mess. I am so sorry, everybody. Let me get my... little bit of foam on there. There we go. This is really thickening up already. Okay, so again with the vinegar. Oh, nope, I lied. I want to do this first. Make sure I have the air bubbles out. hands are clean. I did wash them before I started doing this. Not over there. This has got two of them on it. Some. I try not to have the jars touching each other in the can. Less chance of there being any breakage. So I got four in so far. I think I've got enough for a couple more. Maybe three or four more. So did you guys make any jams or jellies, any fall ones or just summer ones? If so, you know, let me know down in the comments what your favorite ones were. I'm always looking for new recipes to try out. Can't get over how good this smells. Here. 
trying to figure out what some of these flakes were that I saw, and it's the orange one. Orange zest, I should say. That's not the orange peel, that's for sure. Just wipe around it. Get our lids put on. Oh, you know what? I got to get my lid out, I think. Whoa. Magnet works, let me tell you. Ever work on guys. I think I have enough for tonight. I actually have a little bit more than that left. I need to just put one in the fridge to use. Oh, ovens. That wouldn't work with it. I got room for one of the canner. Oh yeah, definitely enough for one more and maybe some for like a little four ounce jar that I can put in the fridge. Okay. I got all of them full for the canner. I had previously washed these. I usually keep some ready to go, and then they're clean in the box. We have to go grab one more one because I didn't plan on this one. I do believe that I am ready to submerge. There we go. Down under, you want to have at least one inch of coverage, which I definitely have in there. Lids going on. It's already bubbling. So I am going to set my timer. It says to do it for 10 minutes. I'm rather paranoid, so I always set it for five minutes longer, so we're going to go for 15 minutes. Sorry, I'm just going to turn this down just a little bit here. So, the rest of this is going to go into another jar and into the fridge, so I will bring you guys back whenever this is done. One more thing that I forgot is to add the rest of the vinegar to it that helps keep any kind of calcium residue building up on the jars also helps keep the canner clean too
Okay, guys, I am sorry that I did not bring you back before. We did the 15 minutes. 10 minutes is all you actually need, and that will actually sterilize the jars too, so you do not need to sterilize ahead of time. Um, I turned it off, left the lid off, five minutes, got them out. I've heard six pings so far. I have eight jars, so hopefully they all end up sealing. Um, I wanted to show you the book that I used. It is Food in Jars. It is by Marsha McLennan. It's got a lot of good recipes in here. This is all small batches, so if you don't like the can a lot or, um, you know, if you use one of the, the Instapot to can with where you can't do a big batch of it at one time, this is a great book. Or if it's a condiment that you don't want a lot of, it's a great book to have. Um, everything that I did was FDA approved. Um, and again, it is how I do it. You may have your own way to do it, but I will bring you guys back. Um, actually, I guess I won't bring you back because these jars are going up on the pantry in the storage room. So y'all take care and I will catch you in the next video.